time series one subject over a period of time cross sectional multiple subject one specific point in time they have their own purpose and now before i continue i need to remind you <clears throat> you collect time series data if you want to know about the trajectory of something over a period of time the time intervals will be the same it might be every week every month every year or so on for example you might want to see how was your gpa over the last four semesters is it getting better or worse if you collect data like that it will be time series data you might want to collect this data to find out what did you do in the semester when your gpa was higher on the other hand you collect cross-sectional data when you want to compare different subjects at a specific time for example you might want to find out the grades of every single student after the semester in a class that collected data will be cross-sectional data one point in time that will be at the end of the semester and multiple subjects all of the students in a class maybe you want to see who did better and you might want to find out what did they do to achieve the better grades another example let's say that you are planning to invest in the stock market but before investing you need to find out the companies that will be a good investment now if you try and find out what the closing price of company a has been over a period of time let's say that you want to find out the closing price after every month for five years if you only look at the data of only company a over the period of five years you are looking at the time series data if you want to find out the closing price of five different companies at the end of the year 2020 you are looking at five different subjects at a single point in time so you are looking at cross-sectional data those were cross-sectional and time series data now you might be thinking what if i want to find out about the price of five different companies over a period of time what would that be well it is definitely possible but it will not be time series or cross sectional data that is a combination of the both and that is called panel data anyway this video is not about panel data i hope you understand the difference between time series and cross sectional data time series one subject multiple time intervals cross sectional one point in time multiple subjects Hopefully that was enough for you to understand cross-sectional and time series data. I could have given more example like temperature in one country over a period of time or temperature in all the countries in 2020. You get the idea. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment below. I might answer any questions below or I might answer it in a separate community post. You can like, share, subscribe and everything else. I am also on Patreon. You can support me over there as well. Now, bonus. Nobel Prize winner in physics in 1911. Wilhelm Wien. That's it. Short video, short bonus. This is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. I hope you have learned something new today. And remember to take care of yourself. Goodbye for now.